of my mom's. She found this old vintage frame and wanted to do something cute with our family pictures that we had taken last fall. So I really love this idea and we're really excited to show you how to put it together. So let's get started. Okay, so to start this project, you are going to need a window pane. And where did you get this from? I got, I got this from a friend who was selling them. I'm not sure where she got it. But a lot of antique stores or, you know, if you know someone tearing down an old house or anything like that. So this is just from an old building? Yeah. I think that you could probably recreate this if you wanted to build something like that, if you're yeah. really good at stuff like that. And I know Michael's has um, picture frames that are wooden and if you wanted to just fill them in with some pieces of wood you could recreate this if you can't find any old window panes like this and then of course you're going to need some pictures and what did you do with the pictures for this these are really an odd size of window and it's not a common picture size so i just got 12 by 12 scrapbook paper measured the window cut the papers out and then just centered an 8 by 10 on it so to get your pictures ready, you're going to need a pencil or a pen to mark so that you can measure your pictures or your paper, whatever you need to cut out. Also a ruler will be helpful for that. And uh, something to cut, you can use scissors or if you have one of these cutting boards, they're really great to use. Scissors are hard to get a really nice straight clean edge on, so right. I love the paper right. cutter. Um, you're going to need some glue or some tape. These are really great, these little scrapbooking photo tabs. They work out really great. And then you're going to need these push pins, right? Well, I don't really think they're push pins. I'm not sure what they're called. But they slide in behind the picture and secure it into place. And then we're using this little screwdriver to put them in the back. So we're just love it. it. That works. Yeah. <laughs> First we're going to show you how my mom cut out the scrapbooking paper and a on, and then we'll show you how to put it in your window pane. Okay, my scrapbook paper is 12 by 12, so I have measured nine and a half. So I'm gonna put it in my paper cutter. It has to be 12 and a half lengthwise, so I'm just gonna take this and kind of add it to the end. So I'm gonna mark right there and cut that again. And what I did is just do a little line so I know where to line this back up. Just take them, put it across the back, line it up with your marks, put it down. And you probably want to put a couple on the back of here to secure it. Okay, so we're going to take our picture, put it on our scrapbook paper, and we're going to measure and make sure that we've got it centered. And then what I did was just do little tiny corner marks. So after I get my tabs on there, I know exactly where to lay that down so it's straight. Go in in each corner. I'll go back here and find my little marks. Just like that. And they're ready to go put in your window pane. Hopefully it fits. Okay, so we have started putting our papers in the window pane, and I'm so excited we have one more left. So I'm just going to make sure it's facing the right way and put that in there. This is what we're using to secure the, our picture into the window panes, and they just slide into the corners. And we were using this tiny screwdriver, and as you can see, we couldn't get even pressure on both sides. So we're just using this spoon and this end, and it made it so much easier just to slide that right in there. All right, that is it. I'm ready to flip this over and see how it looks. Here it is. You guys love that, it's so cute. This is a really good idea, Mom. I love it, and there's so many possibilities that you could do with this. You can hang it on a wall, you can lean it against a wall. Yeah, put it in the corner, it would be really cute. I know that I'm going to try to make my own version of this and try to find a cute antique window, window pane. And if you guys do, if you recreate this, please let us know. I would love to see what you guys do. Yeah, you guys are always so creative. I love what you do with the different crafts that I do. So please send us pictures. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. We'll be back in September, so hopefully we'll be doing more videos together. <laughs> okay, let's see you guys next time. Bye-bye.